Hey, this is Mad Hatter. Do something a little bit different today. We're gonna show you how to skin pack using a tool I wrote. This tool is another script, just like my random a uh, block randomizer tool and another script that I've been also working on to generate buildings like this from 3D models. So you can look forward to that one coming out in the future. But for now, let's get into some skin pack stuff. So the first thing that you should know is this is not going to happen in my This is going to happen in a program that I wrote, and you're welcome to use. It is published on GitHub with all the source code. You can look through the source code. You can compile it yourself. You can do any of that sort of thing. But for now, I am just going to put it on GitHub and only work through this executor. The first thing you do is you click on exe download file. It's going to ask you if you want to keep it. Again, that's your choice. Um, I do not recommend downloading random executables from the internet, but if you lack the ability and you, for some reason, trust me, you can download it from this source. So once you, uh, you download it, it'll say it's an unknown publisher, not an official uh, Microsoft publisher, so it'll say that. It'll pop up a window like this, and then a few seconds later, it'll pop up a window like this. The first thing you do is you browse, and I've made packs for many a people while I was testing this out. Go to the desktop, create a new folder, and call this test folder. Um, you can call it whatever you want. It has no bearing on it. This is just where the program is going to actually put files and mess with files while it's running. So make it a clean spot on your computer that doesn't have a bunch of things in it. So otherwise they'll all end up in your skin pack because uh, that's the way the program is written. So it's a nice clean folder. Next, you're going to put a name in. This can be whatever you want. I'm going to put Mad Hatter's skin pack. I'm going to put dash test at the end just because I want a longer name. You can put a version number. It needs a version number. It doesn't have to be a great version number. Be whatever you want. And needs a description. And then you're going to click Add Skin. On your computer, another window will pop up that looks like this. So that skin, we're going to put a name for it. I'm going to go into a, another folder. I'm going to hit Done. And you'll see that it is in this window here. You can put more than one skin in. We're going to do Mad Hatter and Bad Hatter for this demo. And I'm going to actually select the wrong skin. So I selected the Mad Hatter skin. And I'm going to hit Done. And I realize, oh crap, I said I don't want that skin anymore. If I hit Delete, it'll remove it from that skin pack. Hit Add. I'm going to go back in. Oh, we're going to make this bad header, that's right. Okay, and if I could type, this would go faster. Bad header, done. Now I have mad header and bad header. I hit export. Now if I go into that folder that, I sh that you saw me create earlier, this is that folder. You'll see I have a Mad Hatter skin. I'm going to web browser, close this program, and hit double click on that. Says import started. The successful import Mad Hatter skin pack. Click on profile. Click on this little plus over here. Go to owned. You see, I have the Mad Hatter skin pack. That would be dash test. Look on here, it says Mad Hatter, that's what I typed in the field. Mad Hatter, that's what I typed in the field. And now if I select either of those, I will no longer have the in-swapping bug that you've seen like many a YouTube video and a server on Bedrock. So 
that is all there is to it. It's really simple, really short video. But you're welcome to use this however you want. And that's kind of all I have for you. So you can check out this tool. You can check out my block randomizer. And there will be another tool coming out in the future. So look forward to that. So this is Mad Hatter. I'm out.